Hello everyone and welcome to the third section. Why you will make it and others won't achieve it. In this section uh, we will talk about mainly three different things. We will talk about how to find your niche and your target group. We will focus on what is working and discipline is key. And in this section we will now start with how to find your niche or let's say your target group. First of all, the first question you might ask yourself is, why is that even important? Why is that even important? Because I will give you 99% guarantee if you don't do this, that you will fail uh, growing your account. Because if you have no clue who you are serving, you will have a big, big problem with, let's say, everything. Um, your content is not for everyone. You really need to think about the content um, for a specific topic and not just random topic because then what is your co content and what is your account actually all about. It will also help you by how you are creating your content um, and also what should your follower recognize you for. It's very, very important that if someone says, for example, if I would like to know more about the new uh, street style fashion uh, trends, then I go to your page, for example, and not uh, yes, what is this page actually all about. And therefore, I would like to give you a, so a short story of a client for me. It's the story about everything I like. It's very, very easy because um, in the beginning, I start with this client and he asked me for help. And I took a look at his Instagram page and I asked him, OK, my friend, what are what is your content all about? What your is your page all about and say it's all about me fair enough i thought um, it's a it's a very valid point um, most of the influencers are using it's all about me then i asked him okay but who should follow you and he said actually everyone I say what do you mean by everyone yes actually everyone I say okay how do you come up with this he said yeah, you know, I have actually everything what someone could like. For example, he had pictures um, about lifestyle, about fashion. He had pictures about motivation. He had pictures about traveling. He had pictures about food. And he had many, many more different uh, pictures and topics what he was talking about and the publishing content about. And he said, you know, if I have uh, pictures about uh, traveling, about fitness, about food, about fashion, everyone will find something. Everyone could follow me. And I said, yeah, and how are you able to create your content? How, what, how do you come up with your content? I publish content about everything I like. I say, okay, and what about your followers? What do they like? I say, the followers need to like what I like. Say, That's not the way it works. Um, and he seriously published everything. And it's very, very common for many, many influencers in the beginning. They post everything they like. If they like, for example, this flower, they will make a picture of this flower and will publish it. If they like this food, then will they make a picture of this food and will publish it. If they have, I don't know, new shoes, they will make a photo of the shoes and will publish it. If they travel somewhere, they will make a picture of this. They will make pictures about everything in their life. I mean, if you are, let's say, Kylie Jenner, Britney Spears, Cristiano Ronaldo, etc., that might uh, be possible. But as long as you are not a very, very famous person, people are not that interested in your entire life. And actually, it's a good thing for, for my point of view that not everyone needs to know everything about your entire life. And then I worked with him and I said, you know, let's focus on one specific topic. And that's what we did. And I will also explain you in the next parts how we did it and after we really decided for one topic his Instagram account grew a lot. In the beginning to be honest he lost some followers because the followers who were not interested in a new topic anymore um, didn't follow him anymore so they unsubscribed let's say this way and he lost some followers but that was just uh, let's say uh, cleaning and after let's say I think it was one month or something he grew a lot. He grew much, much faster. His reach expanded and it was much, much 
uh, easier for him to create content, etc. Therefore, really, it's important to find your niche and your target audience. And how to find your niche? As I said, I will uh, work with the example of the one who said, I post everything I like, uh, one of my clients. And that's what we actually did. We said, okay, we have five easy steps for a laser targeted niche. And that are really easy steps, how to find your niche. The first thing I asked him, what is your niche? And he said, okay, I could do fashion, I could do lifestyle, I could do food, but I actually love traveling. I said, okay, then traveling is your niche. He said, yes, traveling is my niche. I said, okay, but what is your niche in more detail? I said, what do you mean? I said, I said, describe it a little bit more. What is your niche? Is it traveling, I don't know, like backpacking or is it traveling, I don't know, in the business class or is it traveling uh, with a family? What is a little bit more in, in specific? And he said, actually, because I'm a consultant, I like to do uh, post more about business traveling. I said, okay, business traveling. And then I said, what is your niche more in detail? He said, why are you asking this again? I said, to be as specific as we can. And he said, hmm, okay, because... If we talk about business traveling, it's not, let's say, those uh, um, cheap airlines he's talking about. He's rather talking about really high-class business traveling because he was traveling in business or first-class because he was a high-ranked consultant. And then he said, okay, I'm focusing on high-class business travel. <laughs> and I came up again with the question, what is your niche in more detail? I said, you know, Daniel, it's enough. I think high-class business travel is enough. I said, no. I will ask you this also one more time again. I will ask you five times, what is your niche more in detail? And then he said, okay, I'm focusing on males because um, female content creation is kind of difficult because he was a male. And um, if he's making pictures literally by his own, then it's much, much easier um, to focus on males. I asked him again, what is your niche in more detail? I said, okay, because I'm talking about traveling. It's not about traveling uh, by a boat or by car. I talk about traveling by using an airplane. And that was his laser targeted niche, male high class business travel by airplane. And that's, you can also go more into detail, but let's say if you ask yourself five times, um, what is your niche? That's, from my point of view, enough to really start with your uh, niche because, of course, you could also go more, even more into detail, but you also need to have a little bit of reach. And therefore, if you ask yourself five times and really do it, ask yourself five times, write it on a paper and you will see what your niche is. And maybe once again, what is a niche? It's a topic. It's one topic you would like to create content for what uh, followers or your audience will recognize your Instagram account for. And how to find your target audience and what is actually a target audience. We talked about the target niche, that's the topic, and the target audience, let's say or describe it as the perfect follower. If you wish how your follower would be, then that's your target audience. Think about this. And we mainly um, focus on five different things. The first thing is the demographics. And in his case, it was male and in the age range between 25 and 35 years. So it means people who just started uh, in their career after they studied and up to 35 um, years. Then the language and geographic was very, very important because um, he's uh, from New York City. We said, okay, the geographic is New York City and the language is English. If you would like to create content, I don't know, for Mexico City, um, then maybe Spanish is the better option to choose. But if it's New York City, of course, English is the most or the better option. And what job has your target audience? And the next thing I asked him, what is the job of your target audience? He said, actually, they should like people like me, they should be management consultants. So, okay. And what is the salary between $100,000 and $200,000? And you need to think about if you have a target audience, um, they need to fit to your niche. We said high class business traveling. If you have, let's say, a salary of I don't know, 25,000 to 35,000, 
then that's maybe not the best option to choose for your target audience. Um, your target audience needs to fit to your topic as well. I think that's more or less uh, self-explaining. Then what interests um, does your target audience have? I said they are interested in cars, in uh, suits, in expensive watches, sailing and golf. And do you think this is really challenging? Just think about your CV and actually then you know what kind of questions you need to ask to find your target audience. It's one of the easiest uh, things you need to do and it's so, so helpful. Because why is it so helpful? Stay focused, really stay focused and be as specific as you can. As I said, um, just scroll down or just uh, move back to uh, the middle of the video where you see, okay, how to find my target niche and how to find my target follower. And then take a paper, take a pen and write it down on the paper. Write it down because it makes it much, much easier. Don't try to do a shortcut because if you try to do a shortcut, you will miss something and you will most probably fail if you're not doing this. Because if you're doing this, if you are clear about your target audience and your target niche, it makes everything so much easier. First of all, you will grow much faster because Instagram has, it's easier for Instagram to push your account in a specific way because they know, okay, what is your topic all about and what's your niche all about, your target audience, etc. They will see it just on the pictures and on your followers and on the hashtags you are using, etc. and the keywords, and then it's much, much easier to grow. And also much, much, much easier is to create content. Because as I already said, you need to create massive content in the beginning to really start growing more and more. And if you have no clue what your target niche is and what's actually your topic and what are your target audience, then it will be so, so complicated or it will be so, so complicated to create content. And if you know exactly what your niche is all about, it's much easier. Because for him, it was much easier. He knew exactly what he need to do now. And he was so thankful, he said, Daniel, you helped me a lot. Now I know how to create content, what kind of content I need to create, because it's still something I like, and that's also important. Don't do something you don't like, but not everything. He focused on one specific thing, and he was traveling a lot, and he uh, used his uh, camera all the time where he was traveling. He was making pictures um, on an airplane. He was making pictures. Um, on a terminal, etc. He was making pictures at home, how he prepared everything for, um, his, tr uh, for his travels, etc. And it was so much easier for him to create content. And if it's so much easier, and if you do something you love, it's also much easier to be happy. Because don't underestimate it, you can uh, also Google it. Many, many content creators have a problem with burnout because they have no clue what they should do. Um, and if you're completely laser targeted at your target audience and your niche, you, will, you won't have this problem because you know what you need to do and it's much, much easier for you and it makes fun. Most importantly, it makes fun and therefore you will be happy. Stay focused and now, not later, now. Take a paper, take a pen and write down your target niche and your target audience right now. Therefore, I will stop it here and you need to do it right now.